It had been a promotion, a party to celebrate, and it's now known the pilot who died in the fiery crash worked for Nautilus Aviation but was never authorised to fly. Nautilus Aviation can now confirm this uh, person was a current employee in a ground crew position. Joining the company four months ago. We offer our heartfelt condolences to the individual's family and all who have been affected by this tragedy. It's been confirmed the man flying the helicopter was Blake Wilson. The four-seater Robinson R44 was in the air just a few minutes before it made a fiery impact into the Doubletree Hotel on the Cairns Esplanade. Debris spilling onto the busy tourist hotspot. Aviation experts say it's a wake-up call to tighten security as to how an unauthorised flight on a stolen aircraft could go undetected. Every general aviation uh, organization around the globe is going to start looking at their security procedures and say can this happen to us especially in light of an elevated national terror threat cairns airport may well consider whether to look at their specific security arrangements authorities are relieved more people were not hurt it was catastrophic in there and and there were two rooms that were heavily impacted the helicopters on board recording devices will be analyzed in canberra there's still a lot of information for us to process before we can conclusively come up with a flight path in a statement, the Cairns Airport CEO said it operates under a multi-layered security program. A review had been conducted showing no compromise of airport fence or access points. Late today, Nautilus Aviation confirmed off-duty staff held a gathering on Sunday night, a send-off for the pilot who was involved in the crash. The badly damaged hotel remains closed for lengthy repairs. Christy Sexton-McGrath, ABC News, Cairns.